Next question is from Rari Walnuts. I just turned 50 this year and I'm a, an experienced lifter of 25 years. I have been working out basically the same way as I did when I was 25. Should I be scaling back the reps and volume for heavier weight and lower volume, or should I be adding more reps and volume? Oh, this see, I, I, I like questions like this because I think sometimes we we read what we're supposed to do yeah. based off of our age or our sex or whatever, and we think, oh, we start to question, like, am I should I do this? Because I read this article that says- You shouldn't really be lifting heavy, yeah, right? When, yeah, once you're over 40 that you need to do this or whatever. Okay, nothing is above your listening to your individual body. Okay, mm -hmm. so I can't answer this question because I'm not in your body. I also don't train you in person. Should you scale back? Well, if you're finding that you're getting more aches and pains in your joints, if you're finding that you're having more trouble recovering, then yeah, you might need to scale back a little bit. There may be some other stuff you can look at as well. Should you increase the volume? Well, I mean, are, is it easy? Can you increase the volume and still feel recovered and improve? In which case, then increasing the volume is okay. It all depends on your individual body. It also depends on what you're currently doing. So, if you know, he says, I'm lifting. What is the same as 25, right? So is does that mean you're – and I'm, I'm guessing because you there's an option here to either add volume – or also, or add reps, or also uh, add weight. I'm assuming you probably fall in the muscle building category of the sticking around eight to twelve rep range. And in that case, either direction is going to be very beneficial to you because it's going to be novel. Going down and 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 remember this too that you know uh, heavy at 50 may be different than what heavy at 25 is. So you know maybe you know when you were 25 you were deadlifting 400 pounds. Uh, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to go that heavy just because you've done it before. Heavy now may be 315 pounds, and, and that's what may be, might be challenging for five reps. But the value of you know working down in the three to rep, three to five rep range, if you never do that or you haven't done that in years or even in, haven't done that in six or eight weeks, that's extremely valuable. Same thing goes for the other direction. If you've been hovering around that eight to 12 rep range and you haven't moved up to 15 to 20 reps for a, a phase or a cycle, uh, that has tremendous value. So yeah, not only knowing what this person is feeling and, and uh, where, where, they're, what, where they're at and what's going on with their body, but also what's going on with their programming. It's uh, not enough information for me to know uh, what they were doing for the last 25 years. Whatever you've been doing, uh, moving away from that is one of the best things that you could possibly do right now if all things are healthy and yeah. fine. I'll tell you what, though. If you've been training with traditional resistance training um, in the gym and you've been doing it that way for yeah, 25, 25 years, years, I'll tell you what, uh, MAPS performance will blow you away. Mm -hmm. It'll completely blow you away because of its emphasis on mobility and because of a lot of the movements are non-traditional in that program. So if, if you've been doing traditional, like, you know, bench presses and, and squats and rows and overhead presses, they're kind of the traditional bodybuilding exercises, which are great. There's nothing necessarily wrong with them. Mm -hmm. If you go to a program like MAPS Performance after, after you know, decades of training a particular way, it will literally blow your mind. Yeah. Say, go that way. I actually have been going through this with my dad who, who has been doing the same routine for, yeah, about 25, 30 years, you know, similar situation, uh, but is at a point now where is getting this sort of repetitive stress uh, where it's starting to affect the joints, the knees, the uh, his hips. Uh, and so for me to now uh, get him moving laterally and twisting is, is really crucial to, uh, you know, fulfill and basically alleviate a lot of the, the the pain of him coming back in and doing these uh, these workouts he was doing and really changing it up is is going to be transformative for him well and the beauty of uh, the programming like when you if you take or you go through maps performance is that we take you through all those phases so I mean you're going to go through a, a strength phase you'll go through a hypertrophy type of phase an endurance type there's phase. an explosive phase it's the only program yeah. with an explosive phase right so it, you, it'll it, you know if you have all the it laid out for you so you go through all that and then you just you modify the weights to where you're at currently right now but your sal's right the the different types of movements that are in performance even if you're somebody who's been training for you know traditional weight training it's foreign enough and novel enough that you're going to see some great results yeah. just from doing that you know what is interesting about this uh, people like this though is that their your ability to handle work and workouts it, does, it, it doesn't decline uh, until you're a little older than 50, much older. I mean, if you've ever met a 50-year-old construction worker or a 50-year-old farmer, uh, they will blow your mind yeah. at how much their bodies can handle. Because they've been doing it for so long mm -hmm. 
they're just, the work capacity is incredible. I've I've wore, I, you know I used to help my dad in construction uh, all the time, and you'd see these these guys these men in their fifties who'd been doing it since they were teenagers. And you know, here I am. A, a te- I'm a teenage kid yeah. myself. Uh, I'm pretty fit, and I go, and they blow me away yeah. by how much they could they're work just and do. Way more efficient. Yeah, too. they'd whistle while they're doing it and yeah. uh, having a good time. And meanwhile, I'm like sweating my ass off, and I can barely breathe. And so, you'd be surprised at how long it takes before age starts to, especially if you've been doing it for 25 years, before age starts to force you to have to reduce things. 